So let's say you have 50 microservices, each with its own API, and your front-end team is literally struggling to build a single page, they are making maybe 10 or 15 network calls. Your app is slow, users are literally complaining. How would you fix this? The first instinct is often wrong. It's not about making the front-end code more complex or trying to optimize every single one of those 50 services. The real problem is that you are exposing the internal chaos of your system directly to the client. The architectural fix is to build a smart layer in between. Now let's talk about three ways to do this. First is the simple and the foundational solution, which is the API gateway, right? What exactly is the API gateway and how can it help here? Think of it as a traffic cop for your backend. The client makes one single call to the gateway. For example, get slash product details. The gateway then turns around and does the hard work. It calls your product service, your inventory service, your pricing service and other services like reviews, service, etc. It gathers all those responses, combines them into one clean package and sends that a single package back to the client, right? What it does is this immediately solves the biggest problem, which is the client now isn't chatty anymore. It makes one call and gets one response. Simple, right? The complexity is now on the back end where it should ideally belong. Now we can get more sophisticated what if your mobile app and your web app needs different data? This leads to the second pattern, which is called BFF, uh, backend for frontend. This is a simple but powerful idea. Instead of using one giant single purpose gateway, you create a separate tailored gateway for each client. Now you have a web BFF that serves the data directly as the web app needs it. But you also have a mobile BFF that obviously does the same for a concise payload probably needed by your by your mobile app right now different teams different client teams ios backend uh, can potentially talk to different bffs it's a powerful pattern and it gives clients autonomy in a way right finally let's talk about the third and the most flexible approach which is graphql both the gateway and the bff pattern are decided on the backend right the backend engineer defines these endpoints and what data it returns simple as that now graphql flips that script it gives the power to the client. Now you create one single powerful endpoint, something let's say like a slash GraphQL. The front end team can then send a query that specifies the exact data fields it needs, no more, no less. If they need the product's name and price, that's all they ask for. If they need the name, price, and the, for example, two reviews, they ask for that they get exactly what they need in a single round trip. This eliminates the problem of both overfetching and underfetching the data, right? So to recap, an API gateway to aggregate calls, a backend for frontend to tailor responses for different clients and GraphQL to give the client the power to ask for exactly what it needs. But the choice of what you use is less important than the philosophy behind it. Here is the key takeaway. Stop designing your APIs from the inside out. Start by asking, what the client actually needs, design from the outside in. Your job isn't just to expose your services, it's to provide a clean, simple and performant contract to the applications that consume them, right? This is how you solve the microservices mess, right? Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Stay tuned.